Many times an efficient way of working with string data is to convert that string to an array. This is commonly done with the split method. And I will include a link to a tutorial I've done on that method. However, in this tutorial, we are going to look at the regular expression exact method and how that can be used to convert a string to an array. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. Before we get into today's tutorial, I just want to thank those that have submitted requests for tutorials. We have a number of those and I keep a list and plan to get to all of them eventually. And just a reminder, if you have a particular request, you can leave a comment or send me an email. Contact information is available on my website. Now, I'm getting close to releasing a new training course on regular expressions. And in this tutorial, I wanted to include one of the nice features that JavaScript provides with regular expressions, and that is the exact method. When this method is used with capturing groups in regular expressions, it will build an array from those capturing groups. And this can be advantageous at times. Now, I apologize in this tutorial if you're not familiar with regular expressions. I will explain the example as best I can, but you may want to review regular expressions. And as I mentioned, I have a course coming out that will teach regular expressions if you need that. So let's jump to Sublime and get started on this example that's going to show what exec can do for us. So here is a scenario I want to present. Let's say you are receiving date as data. It could come from a form or it might come from a database, but the date comes in a specific format. And this variable up here represents that format. The year is first, then the month, and then the day. Now, the year always has four digits, but the month and the day could have two digits or one digit. And also another variable is that the separator could be a dash or a slash or it could be a period even. So that's the data we're receiving. And we want to be able to break that apart so that we have the date in separate compartments, the year in one compartment, the month in another, and a day in another. And then we can work with those separately. Now, this could be done with the split method. But the difficulty of doing it with the split method is the part I mentioned that we don't know for sure what the separator is. It could be one of three characters. And so if we do it with the split method, it's going to take a number of if statements, which wouldn't be very clean and might be difficult to read. It can be done easier with the exact method for regular expressions. And that's what I want to show. So in order to show this example, let's first create a regular expression. Now, as I said, I'm going to explain this as I create it. But if you're unfamiliar with regular expressions, you may need to do some reviewing. So when we create a regular expression in JavaScript, we can do that in one of two ways, like we can with most objects in JavaScript. We can use the new keyword, or we can use literal notation to create it. And in the case of a regular expression, we use these two slashes to specify a regular expression. Inside of that is where our regular expression goes. Now I'm going to indicate that the data we're trying to match should be at the start of the string and at the end of the string. And so that's what these two characters do. Caret indicates this is the start of the string. The dollar sign indicates that's the end of the string. And then our pattern is going to be in the middle. Now, the first thing I want to do a pattern for is the year. And I'm going to put that inside a parenthesis. A parenthesis creates a group in a regular expression. In the case of regular expressions, parentheses capture that group. And that's important to remember with the exact method. Without these parentheses, what we're going to do with the exact method will not work. So inside of those parentheses, I want to specify four digits. And that's how I do that. That indicates four digits. Now let me go ahead and do the rest of the capturing groups. So the month will also be a digit, but it can be one or two digits. 
So we specify it like that, and then I close the parens. And then the day is exactly the same as the month. Now there are more efficient ways I could be doing these repeating groups, but I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible for those that may not be totally familiar with regular expressions. So here we have the groups that match the different parts of the date. Now we need to account for the separators. Now as I said, those separators could be one of three characters. So what we want to do is enter a character set. Oops. There's our first character set, second character set. Now those two character sets indicate that the separator could be one of these three characters. All right, so that's our regular expression. Now the key part of this are the parentheses. These are capturing groups. These groups will capture the data they will match. And that's key because the exact method will use that captured data and place it into an array. So let's see how that's done. So I'm going to put a comma at the end there because I'm just going to declare another variable. And this will be the array. And inside of that, I want to put the regular expression dot exec. Use the exec method. And what we pass into the exec method is the data. And so the data we receive from the form or from the database, whatever, that we're going to pass that in. And then exec will cause this to be separated out into an array. So let me go ahead and save that. Jump out here and I'll show you what we get. Open the console. And let me just take a look at that array. So here's the array we get from the exact method. Now notice it has four elements. The first element is the actual data that was received. But then elements one through three, because we have three capturing groups, that contains the year, the month, and the day. Now, if we had more capturing groups, it would put more into this array. But we have three capturing groups, so we get three. Now, just to show you that this is working great, let me change some of these parts of this data and see what we get. Save that again. Take a look at our array. There you can see we still have those elements in the array. We're able to separate out the year, the month, and the day. So using capturing groups with the exec method can be very helpful in certain situations. Now I use an example of a date, but this could be done with any data that you're receiving. If you needed to split it out and have that data in an array. Something valuable you can do with the exec method of regular expressions. I hope that was helpful, and if so, please hit the like button. It will help others find this tutorial on YouTube. Also, hit the bell button to be notified about new tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away, or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com, for full courses and to support this channel. Thanks for watching.